Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my fall clean and decorate with me for 2020 part two. Today's video, we are going to be baking the most delicious apple cinnamon bread. We're also going to be decorating my kitchen, open shelving, coffee bar, tear tray, lots of DIYs. Before we get into this video, I wanted to let you know this is a collaboration with one of my favorite YouTubers, Amanda Little. She is going to be sharing her fall clean and decorate with me over on her channel. You guys she is the sweetest i love her channel motherhood lifestyle encouragement she is such a wonderful mom you will love her channel please go over and say hello i will have her channel and video linked down below for you guys and if you're new to my channel welcome i share motherhood lifestyle homemaking motivation and i would love if you subscribed and joined our community here on youtube i look at you you make me blind Let's get started with this delicious apple cinnamon bread. Have the beautiful aroma fill the home while we're decorating for fall. I will have the full recipe and list of all the ingredients down below for you guys. I highly recommend this recipe. It was so easy and turned out amazing. My son decided to make a little cameo. They love to be in the kitchen with me. Let me know down below if your littles also love to bake with you. If you do end up making this recipe, definitely tag me over on Instagram. I love when you guys share things that I've shared with you. It makes me so happy to know that I am giving you ideas or inspiration. So definitely tag me over there. We are just going to now be creaming our butter and sugar and you could use your standing mixer. I just wanted to make this really easy because I know not everyone has a standing mixer. So you definitely could do this by hand. Even Mila did. I wanted to put my arms around you just to be close to you and in my head. Once the butter and sugar were creamed together, I added in the vanilla and eggs, and then the flour and baking powder. It's so simple. And once you have your dough, you're just gonna wanna split it in half because we're essentially gonna make two layers and it's so easy. So add one layer of dough to the, the bread pan and I greased it really well. And then add half of the apple mixture on top and then you're going to add half of the brown sugar and cinnamon mixture and then you're just going to do the same thing again for a second layer and then bake it at 350. Mine cooked for about an hour but you just want to make sure that when you put a toothpick in it comes out clean and this was delicious. Now it's time to clean up before we get to decorating and I have to admit I am such a messy baker and cook. I don't know, I just get lost in like the creation process. I'm also like this with crafting and DIYing, but I don't know, it gets pretty bad. My husband is always like, why don't you clean as you go? And I'm like, it's just, it's so much easier to just focus on what I'm doing, but let me know down below. Are you guys messy like me or are you clean and you put things away kind of as you do things? I would love to know. Once the dishwasher was loaded up, I went in with some baking soda and dish soap and my favorite Dollar Tree scrub brush and gave the sink a really good clean. I think out of all of the chores around the house, cleaning the sink is my favorite. I just find it so satisfying. On to decorating and when I'm decorating I like to have all of the items that I'm going to be decorating with in one space so that I can just pull things that I think might go where I want them to go if that makes sense I'm just giving this back part of my kitchen a really good wipe down before I start putting down all of the decor I cannot wait for you guys to see this transformation she hopes 
Whenever I'm decorating, I like to have an anchor piece. I shared this in part one of my clean and decorate with me, which I will have down below, but I like to have one piece and then I build from there. So I started with that gather cutting board that I actually just picked up at Michael's. And then I'm adding these two faux cutting boards that I made from dollar store products. All I did was take two of those wood pumpkin cutouts from Dollar Tree and then I put some wood contact paper on top. It could not be more simple and I really love the way that it turned out. And then I came over here and I added this um, cookbook stand. I picked that up at Dollarama and then this Thanksgiving book that I thrifted. Thanksgiving here in Canada is early October so I'm not too far off having this display. I love adding pops of copper for fall and I actually thrifted that cute little egg piece. I highly recommend checking out local thrift stores when it comes to decorating for fall and even Christmas, especially if you like like modern farmhouse vintage style, you can find some great pieces. And I ended up shifting that around, which I usually do when I'm decorating. You'll see that a lot during this video. Sometimes just taking a step back and coming back, you just get a refreshed like ideas and inspiration and it ends up working out so much better. All of the fall florals you see there are either from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. If you go and really have a good pick through, you can find some beautiful stems. And I'm trying to make this copper piece work. I actually spray painted this Dollar Tree vase and you'll see that I just didn't end up using it anywhere, but I kept trying. And um, I'm just making an arrangement that I actually end up switching out into a white vase that I picked up from the dollar store and then painted white. Another tip I have for you is to use a cutting board to create vignettes. I just feel like it makes it look so much more anchored. And here is how this space turned out with my lovely bread and this cute little vintage tin that I picked up at Michael's. It says pumpkin seeds. I love it and I'm so happy with how that turned out. Now moving on to my open shelving here in my kitchen. This is somewhat of a functional space. I like to have all of our plates and cups on that first shelf and then the top two are more decorative but I'm just taking everything down and this was actually a DIY. It was so simple. I took down the cupboards and then I just had Home Depot cut wood to fit where the old shelves were and then voila i created an open shelving and i love how this space is and decorating it is so much fun i watch you as you dry do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you a lot of the items that you see were either thrifted or DIY'd, like those ginger jars. Those were actually a different color and I just painted them years ago. But I love affordable home decor. I'm just playing around with different combinations. I love using cutting boards, especially in the fall and winter to warm up my kitchen because it is very like white and creamy. So I like to use cutting boards as like a backdrop for the pieces that I style with. And I'm just like playing around. I'm using cookbooks to add different heights. I'm also going to fill that um, domed dish with some pumpkins. And I think that that adds a cute little touch Forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's come. When I think of fall, I think of baking and being in the kitchen. So I knew I wanted to create an anchor statement piece of a mixing bowl with a rolling pin. And I went in and added a really cute dish towel that I picked up at the dollar store. I loved the color in it. And then that copper colander was actually a little silver one that I found at Dollar Tree and I spray painted it. And I end up adding some pumpkins to it. And I just love how it looks. And here is the finished product. 
once the pumpkins come out I'm gonna add them to the basket that you saw at the top some really pretty white pumpkins but I'm really happy with how that looks moving on to my coffee bar this is also a DIY same thing I actually shared it in a video I'll have it linked down below for you guys but I love having open shelving it helps me just to have less stuff to be honest so here I am just doing the same thing kind of figuring out how I wanted to use this space and I went in and added cutting boards these are actually all cutting boards from Dollarama and then I loved that black teapot so I wanted that to kind of be my statement for that shelf and then I just worked around it and here is what I came up with just super simple also functional because we do use this every day and then this little area here I gave a little makeover to as well don't you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment can always stay here this is a functional space in our kitchen we keep our coffee filters and scoop for our morning coffee here so i knew i wanted it to be easy and functional but i did want to add those fun pops of fall and here is how it turned out i love that saying hey there pumpkin it's like my favorite moving on to my tier tray we're gonna do a quick diy sign i found this sweet little wood frame at dollar tree and i'm just tracing out a thanksgiving card to create a little sign I'm also going to be painting these little houses. I wanted them to look like clay pieces. So all I did was take one cup of paint with one tablespoon of baking soda and it created the cutest little clay paint. You can turn anything into terracotta pots essentially. So I highly recommend that mixture, but I'm just placing everything on the tray. This is actually my first time ever decorating a tiered tray. I just bought this piece. So it was a lot of fun, but I can totally see this changing and I will share everything in my fall home tour, which will be out next week. So I will take you through each room in my home and share where everything is from, any extra DIYs. So definitely look out for that video. And here is the finished product. I love how this turned out. And I actually added little tea lights from the dollar store in those houses. And I show you at the end of the video, the nighttime glow, it's so pretty. I'm just adding this cute dish towel that I picked up at Winners. And here is the finished look. I'm happy with it. Definitely on a budget, home decor. And I think it turned out really nice. And I'm so excited to be cooking and baking all season long in this kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas or inspiration when it comes to decorating your home for fall, especially in your kitchen. If you haven't already, I would love if you subscribed and joined our growing community here on YouTube. I have so much more fall content coming up on my channel and I can't wait to share it all with you. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.